Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously it's going to be tough, you know, around this time every year. Uh, his birthday was uh, November 10th. Um, so, you know, it's always a hard one. But, you know, to go out here and have fun and, you know, do what I love. And he knows that. Uh, you know, I've always loved this game, and he was up there watching me, you know. So, um, you know, it's just it's, it's a good feeling, you know, to be able to do that for him and have the family watch as well. Were you thinking about him before the game as you got ready for the game? <laughs> Even during the week preparing for this game, were you thinking about him? Oh, yeah, I've been thinking about him for the last two weeks, ever since his birthday. Um, you know, it's just always going to be like that. It's just, uh, you know, a little hole in your heart now. Um, but uh, football helps me fill that void. You know, I go out there and do what I do, and uh, he definitely sees it. What do you think he would say about it? Man, shoot. I don't even know what little Andy would say. You know, he just probably look at me and smile, to be honest. <laughs> Catch that you made. I mean, what, what did you see? How did you do what you did on that play? Um, I mean, honestly, it, it wasn't even cover two, though. I wasn't even supposed to run that right. I kind of messed myself up. But um, so that's why that's really why I had to catch the ball because I messed it up, you know. So um, I just seen him throw in the air, and nobody was, you know, he was behind me, so I had to fight through him. And then uh, luckily, you know, the ball didn't go too far after I, you know, missed it the first time. But, um, you know, it was a big play for us. Uh, we went down there and scored after that. So um, it was just a great, uh, great team effort right there. What does it say about how dangerous this offense can be when you guys put up the numbers you did without Amari necessarily having the biggest game? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we just got weapons everywhere. You know, we've been saying that all year. Um, you know, when we get everybody involved, uh, it's, a, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's fun. Um, so uh, I think my, uh, my coach, Coach Sanjay, he always says that, though. Somebody's off or, you know, just not having their best game or anything, you know, somebody else is going to step up and do it. And that's what happened today. That's what happened last week. Uh, it happens all the time. So we're just going to keep doing it. You know, you know the old saying, you know, big time players make big time plays in big time situations. Um, that's, that's it. What can you say about the way Dak Prescott is playing right now? He's playing phenomenally. Um, so we, we can't ask for, for much more out of him. Uh, you know, he's throwing for a lot of yards. Uh, he's really adjusting to the the offense, um, taking command. Uh, he knows exactly how to go out there and shred the defense that we're going up against every week. So, uh, you know, he's doing a lot of great things. The week after you made those three catches, this guy next to you makes one of the best catches of the year, too. What did you <laughs> see on that play, and, and what did you think when you saw that amazing drive? Uh, well, the first thing I saw, the ball was in the air. Obviously, it was a, it was a, long, it was a long throw. Um, but when I looked, I saw that he was actually fighting to try to catch the ball. You know, he wanted it back. Even after he caught it, I said, you wanted that one bad. <laughs> so uh, he went, he tried to catch it initially. It kind of like slipped up and then he went and caught it. Uh, it was a big time uh, catch for sure. How you tough guys... is it to keep your concentration level at the, as high as it needs to be while he's being interfered with on that play as well? I mean, I, I don't think I've ever made a catch like that. Like uh, being interfered, um, not initially uh, catching it because you're interfered and then catching it. So, I mean, like I said, he really wanted to catch that ball. <laughs> How can you explain your key catch over slight? What happened there? Yes, yeah, so I, I mean, I had a comeback. Um, I came out of it. I was obviously going to come back to the ball. Um, but the trajectory of the, the ball, I knew I sh couldn't come back to it because I wouldn't be able to jump up and get it. And I saw Slate undercutting it. Usually when you see a DV undercutting the ball, you want to, like, come all the way back to the ball. But I knew in my head that he wouldn't be able to get to it because the ball was kind of thrown high. So when he was undercutting him, I'm like, what is he doing? You know what I'm saying? And he jumped up. I kind of knew it would go over him. Yeah. You answered questions all week. You guys did about the slow start. It was a slow one again today. What, what can you say about the resiliency of the group? Because when you have a slow start, you're able to come back and win like that today. I mean, that, that does show resiliency, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, like, a, like, like again, the old saying, you know, it's not how you start, it's, it's how you finish. Um, yeah, obviously, we want to we want to start fast, and we'll work on that. We'll continue to work on that. Um, we have time. Um, but it says a lot about our resilience, you know, to be down in the game and then just be able to keep going and come back and win it. How much was this guy sitting right here a spark plug in terms of you getting it going and rebounding from that slow start today? I mean, it was big. I mean, anytime you have over 100 yards, 100, close to 150, uh, what, how much you had? 148. I mean, anytime you <laughs> you have about 150, um, you know, you, you, I mean, you're making a lot of plays. You know, you're not, you can't make, you can't get 150 yards in one play. You know, so uh, anytime you have 150 yards, I mean, you're, you're consistently m making plays for the team. And, uh, you know, 
we move the ball and get those first downs, obviously the more, the more first downs we get, the closer we get to a touchdown or a field goal. And so I would say he played a, a huge part in that. I mean, I think he would be able to answer that better than I would. Uh, you, you did it. You did it for your bro. Yeah, he did it. He did it. He did it for bro. I mean, like, like hey, it explains a lot now. How he really wanted that ball, it explains a lot now. He did it for bro. So, yeah. I'm good. Yeah, I'm, I'll be all right. Let's talk about this game and this offense and the explosion y'all had. You and the Cooper's a big part of it, but Cooper wasn't a big part today. It was you and, and Gallup. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's what we pride ourselves on is we, we got guys that can get it, get the job done across the board, um, and, and that's what it takes to win in this league. Um, you know, whenever they try to take one person away, we're able to make big plays in the back end. How scary does that make the possibilities of this offense? Uh, I think we've shown that year out uh, through the, through this year. Uh, what we're pa capable of is just finding ways to, to win, and we're able to do that today. What well, you've been able to do the last couple of games, does it feel like you and Dak are clicking in a new way? Uh, I wouldn't say in a new way. I, I think it's kind of more of I'm starting to – get a feel for how I fit into this offense. The coaching staff is starting to know what I'm good at and, you know, the, the blend of the two, uh, I think it definitely helps. You talk about the catch, catch that Gallup made on the 41-yarder getting it interfered with and he still managed to bring that ball in. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he, he, he's an amazing player and, you know, he makes some incredible catches. Uh, I think we got to get him more involved and then find ways to, to get him the ball and, and let him do what he does. You guys had another slow start. Do you think yourself and him really – acted as spark plugs today to get the offense going? Well, we, we pride ourselves in that. You know, uh, as, as a group, we think this team goes as we go. Uh, you know, I, I, we know we got a great running game, but, um, you know, on third down, we got to be the ones that's moving the sticks, and we did a good job of that today, uh, making some big plays in the back end and uh, open up the offense for us. As a receiver, how tough is it to keep your concentration level high enough to make the play he made on that 41 yard? Uh, is that, that's, that's our job. That's what we do. Uh, the concentration level, you know, you, you go back to high school, middle school, whatever you want. That's a part of what we do. Uh, you know, it's, we're professional athletes, professional receivers, and we, we got to make those plays when we get those opportunities. You know, Jack has been in the last couple of weeks. Certainly looked good last week, but today, again, 444 yards. The running game was stopped. Y'all went to the pass. Yeah. He, he had a great game. He did. He did. I think uh, a lot of people don't realize how good he actually is, and I think he's just continuing to prove people wrong week in and week out. And uh, it, I think it's our job as receivers to continue to make plays for him and and, and be the best we can be for him. When I slap my hands on which yeah. one? There was a play you get me across the middle, maybe the third quarter. You were clapping your hands just before the snap, and then you went across the middle and made a big play. Oh, I was I was clapping my hands for protection uh, okay. to, to make sure that we were in tune, that I knew what uh, if I was going to be hot or not, uh, okay. and, and then I just ran my route. How big is Gallup? I mean, you, know, you were here last year, but you're a young receiver. You've been young before. <laughs> yeah. Receiver. How have you seen him grow just from training camp to now? Uh, He's been making plays, you know, since I got here uh, through OTAs, through training camp. Um, I think people are starting to understand exactly how good he can be, and he's going to continue to grow. He's going to continue to get better. That, that comes with experience. Uh, but, but to see a young guy like him making plays consistently uh, throughout this season is huge for him as a player and it's huge for our team. Last time you had Amari and you lost him to the Jets game, what was there any major differences in, the, in, in your group from that game when you lost him to now? When you, you did lose him, but you did come back. Any difference between you guys, between that Jets game and now, when you lost him? Uh, but what do you mean? I'm not understanding. Yeah. Oh, so you didn't play the game too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't miss I'm not understanding what the question is. Well, well, though. Well, well, I forgot you didn't play Jessica. It seems as if that missing Amari and even you, there was some struggles in the passing game. And you lose Amari today. How big was it just to have you and Gallup step up a little bit? Uh, I, I think I think overall as a group, when we're all out there, we're able to contribute. Uh, it, it makes our offense better. Uh, you know, that's that's what they brought me here for. That's what they brought Amari for is to be the, the spark plug that he is and uh, continue to, to be a big playmaker for our, our team.